I wasn't really expecting the very first comment on this series to be from Life by You, but I will take it. There was a little bit of construction in my apartment this week, so I'm currently in my living room instead of my office. By the way, if you're behind, the Life by You channel has posted several really good videos recently and you should go and watch them. There's one about managing households that's fantastic. I think it's the clearest look that we've gotten at the graphics and the neighborhood and everything so far. Really, really great. Uh, Rocio posted an update letting us know that you can in fact change the length of the arms. So hallelujah, looking good. Um, and then I think we just got one about exercising. The animations look great. Really good stuff coming out this week. I made two more ewers over the past couple of days. Way fancier and more complicated than the ones that I did in the first video. Broadly speaking, a ewer is just a vase-shaped jug or pitcher, and all of the ones that I have created are based on existing historical ewers. One of them in particular is this really ridiculous fancy one that has a dragon as the handle. I didn't love that the head was curved back, but I did love that the handle was an animal. So I made one that has kind of a dog on it. I remember that I have a, a really bad habit of possibly over modeling things, which is something I might have to overcome. I also remembered that I really love to hand paint textures. It's extremely time consuming. It, on the plus side, it does normally come out well, and it does mean that I'm not, you know, using anybody else's textures, and they're all made for the items that they're being put on, but it is, it is time consuming. I had intended to sort of do an entire dining situation and just make decorative plates and pots and bowls and cups and all of those things. We don't have a lot of really good examples of the kinds of things that peasants would have had. Just, you know, like a clay cup would just be a thing that exists. We have seen jugs, we have seen bowls, but it, it's a hard thing to find. And I don't see a lot of confirmation that they actually existed. Just no, no real confirmation yet, which is frustrating. So I gave up on that for the moment. I'll get back to it. Something else that I decided to work on this week uh, was a maypole. It seems like they were around and popular before this period and were possibly you know, sprang up from pagan rituals like a lot of things did and managed to survive the church and be one of those things that they just kind of didn't try to outlaw. It's going okay. Uh, I really like the colors that I've decided on. I'm having some trouble with the mesh so far. Overall, I think the design is just fine. Also, something that seems to be happening with Sims custom content right now a lot of the time is you just have shadows that are visible through items. And I'm seeing some conflicting information about why that might be happening. It's definitely happened to me. I did seem to fix it. I don't know what it was that did it, but a, a lot of kind of bizarre things without answers as far as getting stuff into The Sims 4 right now. In any case, the Maypole isn't perfect yet, which means it's not going to be available for download yet because I don't want to put things out there that aren't in good shape for like price and categorization and all those things, it'll broadly be okay. But the fact is that I, I, I don't care that much about it being perfect. These items being in The Sims is very secondary to just getting them created and, and ready to go for life by you when it's available because I don't really play The Sims 4. Speaking of downloads, actually, uh, I have decided to open up a Patreon. Everything is going to be free. I'm not going to play those games. I'm not going to try to find a way to game the system and sell stuff. I'm, I'm not going to do it. It's not worth it or ethical or uh, allowed by policies of Paradox or EA. So I'm just, we're not going to do that. If anybody would like to donate and keep the project rolling, that would be amazing. It is extremely time consuming to work on this. So if anybody does want to go ahead and buy me a cup of coffee, that would be fantastic. The first set of items are available to download now from the Patreon link below, and we'll be back next week with another update.